Y viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Hey y'all, thank you for joining me. I appreciate every one of y'all. Hope you all are well and uh, blessed. <laughs> Got a new soap in the den that I would like to share with y'all and uh, yeah. I appreciate y'all for watching, thank you. Today's shave soap will be Noble Otter, Mahoney, and then Tahiti. I'm annoying the Tahiti. <laughs> Look at that Noble Otter. Lay over there. That's a dope ass label if you ask me. Noble Otters packaging has always impressed me by their labels, their colorful labels, and uh, just overall presentation of the soap. And they're always, their uh, scent notes are always on the uh, side label here. This is made in the USA by Noble, Noble Otter, Houston, Texas, and the uh, artist's name is Cody. And his wife. And this soap here has been uh, it's been announced for a while, but it took a while, a while for it to come out. I maybe say like a year, less than a year, to officially release. And uh, I'm really excited to try it today. This is my second time use. I wanted to use this off camera to get my first impressions of it, and I did. So now I'm going to be sharing it with y'all. On video and this is uh been lathered once I did use it once and uh, yeah <laughs> this is in uh, Cody's newest uh, formulation I don't know if he uh, I really don't know if he updated the base but I know that it's his latest release I mean his latest uh, latest release with this uh, previous um, base formula for the soap and this is a tallow beef uh, formula and uh, it got some great ingredients I'll be putting the ingredients down below on the description Mano Manoy the Tahiti <laughs> the scent notes are ginger coconut lime Tahiri flower Tahitian van vanilla and sandalwood this is come this comes in a four ounce puck of soap and uh, I just love the colors there <laughs> Once again, the newest soap from uh, No Water. Yeah, Manuela Tahiti. A little bit about the soap here. After being at sea for almost a year, we have finally landed our tropical paradise. Manuela Tahiti sandalwood fragrance that opens up with sweetness and coconut and vanilla. And wrapped by the floral notes of tahiri flower ginger comes in a ginger comes and provides in a slight spicy element to the fragrance finally the rind of lime and the salty ocean was finish out the experience with light brightness lounge around on the beach with Mahon, mahoney the tahiti yeah and if you could uh if i if i could share this with y'all this is uh a uh a picture that's like close to the beach there I believe that's a C note note that's not listed on the, on the label but I believe it does have some type of sea, uh, sea salt uh, fragrance in the soap just wanted to share that with y'all in the beach but when I open this up here I get creamy sandalwood right off the uh, right right up front follow with the coconut slightly floral from the uh, tahiri flower but it rounds off to be like a uh, uh, sandalwood vanilla finish towards the background that's what I get it, this reminds me like a, a very nice like how would I describe this like a beach scent like a tropical scent that's the best I can describe this scent here and I enjoy it this is medium strength off the puck I had a great shave the first time I used it and I'm gonna shave it with it again right now 
I'm going to be using my uh, Ryan Tansy brush here. This is a custom brush that Ryan Tansy from Turning by Tans made me to match the scale of my razor. And he did a phenomenal job. And uh, I'm really happy how this brush turned out. It matches the label. The top green there. I don't know about the uh, purple on the bottom, but it does match the top because it does have black and green colors on the uh on the label so but this is uh if you can see the translucent translucent clear on the bottom it, it uh from the top here green it goes towards the bottom here so it's like a green green purplish highlights of purple on the bottom and that's uh ryan tansy's coin right there <laughs> you can see that gold coin and this sports is tanchurian uh I believe 26 28 millimeter 28 20 28 millimeter I believe and if I'm wrong excuse me <laughs> I just don't remember on top of my head the uh the not um size but it's a 26 to 28 millimeter uh tanchurian uh anchurian knot badger knot natural hair and uh yeah let's get this started here like I mentioned, I used this before, so uh, second time use. I got about a week's growth on the face, and uh, yeah. Let me sprinkle this with water, since I did pour out all the, uh, the what's it called? The, uh, the water from the knot there. Here's my son here in the background, if you can see. Hi, Junior. <laughs> Say hi. No? Okay. I haven't brought him on board, but I, I'm, because he's always not here when I do videos, because I like it to be quiet. So I, uh, I do the videos when he's not here, but I'm doing it today. He's here, so my son's here with me. Let me break, let me, uh, this not still breaking in, so it's still losing badger hair. But uh, very nice tips from the Tancherian. It's like a pillowy, a pillowy soft uh, knot. The best I can describe with great, great backbone, luxurious feeling. And I've always had great shades with no water, with all their soap bases. I've never had a bad shade with no water. This is luxurious soap in my in my opinion, and it's uh one of my favorite uh, bases. So my top five. Hope I got enough there. But uh, if I don't, then I'll go back to the puck. But yeah, this is like a really uh, coconut uh, forward uh, scent. Reminds me of a Santan lotion, but not all Santan lotion. It, it gives you that vibe, that uh, but it has like a tropical scent to it, and it's really well blended, and uh, it's very enjoyable. I like it very much. Like I was mentioning, here, let me wipe my face here. But yeah, it's medium scented and uh, it's very enjoyable. It's the best I can describe the scent to y'all. Hope you have a great weekend. Mine was great. Just stayed home, relaxed. I was kind of feeling under the weather on Friday, so I, I called off from work and I just didn't have the power to go. 
fulfill my duties at work. So I ended up uh, calling in sick, but I'm now better now. I feel much better. This is kind of dry, so I'm gonna add some more water to it. But yeah, the scent uh, it still stays medium strong when I'm lathering it here on my face. It's very enjoyable. I'll get the notes of coconut. This is not overly flowery. Just letting you all know that. There is a floral note in there. You do detect it, but it's not overly flowery. Again, more more of a like a like a fruity tropical coconut uh woody scent from it that's exactly what i get from it very thick lather on the face let me hit this with water one more time Awesome, in my opinion. Got enough there on my brush. It's caked. <laughs> Got a haircut there. What do y'all think? Needed a haircut. And I, let, I am letting the top grow, so I, it's it's uh, kind of slick back there, still short there, but it's uh, it's getting there and it's gonna be slick back. So that's what I'm gonna be rocking in the summer, a slick back uh, haircut, fade haircut. All right, let's uh, let's shave here with my uh, KYM Designs, newest razor in my den from Juanito, all the way down from Canada. I bought this from him. He was. Uh, selling it on the BSTs and I jumped on it asked them to put uh to put me down for this razor here this is from KYM Designs I believe this is a 8 uh barber's notch there uh french tip and it has a uh, black kernite gold pins with the gold wedge there Juanito's edge it's awesome this edge here is truly uh sharp and uh very smooth i enjoy it all right pass one with the grain tackling my beard grow right off you can see that here honey those edges really sharp but smooth at the same time and it does the job for me look at that thick soap base there from the water Telling y'all, very dense soap here. Clean off my blade just to show you the density of the soap here. It's truly awesome. Let me out wipe this down here. Always a pleasure using the soap. Daddy. Yes, Papa. Is she huh? Is she I'm shaving, Papa. my hands here let's continue with the shave
very enjoyable scent. This is not an overly power, powerful scent. This is, I would say, in the medium range. So if y'all are uh, thinking if it's a uh, strong scent, it definitely isn't. This is uh, really well balanced. clean up here see the razor is cutting if you can see the hair there the black that's hair <laughs> it's cutting just dropped it on my west coast shaving strap and that strap uh, it's a leather strap and it does a good job at uh, polishing the edge from the razor Yeah, that felt great. <laughs> I might wipe my razor here off once again. one completed let me get a rinse here oh yeah very nice feels great too must I say it's a little spot there but in here but Past two will take care of that. <laughs> All right, let me trickle here some more water towards my knot, and I will start the process of uh, lathering my face again. Need some hydration, always need hydration. Very thick, dense, uh, not. Not a very thick lather here because uh, I just didn't load enough, but that'll be adequate. Pass two against the grain. <laughs> this soap has enough residual slickness here to uh, finish off my shave.
Or a little weeper there. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just trying to kind of concentrate here. just gliding over my face because it has enough residual for that like I was mentioning and uh, yeah no water is great fantastic so I didn't relather there so my lather wasn't thick on the second pass but you don't always need a thick lather on the second go around that's me you don't have to uh You don't have to listen. This is just the way I do it. Everyone has different ways of shaving, doing things, but this is my, my way of shaving. And uh, I could have lathered there for more soap for that, uh, but not, nah, but I just chose not to. But I still got a fantastic baby butt smooth shave. And um, I feel whiskers right here, so, but like I was mentioning, the uh, got a little weeper there, I won't stop, but uh, the residual left over on my skin from just wetting the face, we'll take care of that once again. See the residual there left on my edge, on the edge of the blade. It's enough. That's the leftover hair that I uh, needed to take off. But yeah, that's my shave. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate y'all. This is a great 10 cent hair that I enjoy. This is uh, Manoy the Tahiti from No Water. And, uh, Fantastic label design there. I forgot the artist in the uh, the artist's name, but uh, if I find that, I'll put it down there uh, in the description down below. She does all no no waters uh, labels for uh, Cody and his uh, no water uh, company. <laughs> Fantastic there. It's the noble water there enjoying the uh, the uh, sunset there, and it has uh, flowers here in the background. And uh, it has overall greenish uh, uh, plant tree leaves, uh, trees in the background <laughs> with this enjoyable sunset in the mountains. And check out the otter there wearing that nice beach uh, uh, shirt there with the hat. Very awesome. Let me get a final rinse here. <laughs> Got the matching after splash as well. Damn, Weeper won't stop weeping. <laughs> let this settle here for a little bit. I always like to let the uh, uh, alcohol, the alcohol splash. I like to, to let the scent here settle a little bit before it uh, it comes alive. <laughs>
Very little burn. I'll get more sandalwood in the uh, after splash. But you still get that coconut vibe. Fantastic. And I'm smelling chingon right now. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you very much for joining me. Once again, my Honda Tahiti was used today and uh, very enjoyable scent here. It's not... It's not feminine at all. It's more, like I said, like more of a like tropical. It's not gourmand. I can tell you that. It's more of a like a gourmand. No, I mean, excuse me. No, not gourmand. It's more of a like tropical fruity scent. The uh, coconut it makes it uh, makes it fruity along with the uh, the vanilla and the sandalwood. I just love sandalwood. It's my favorite type of friends. Uh, scent note and uh, scent description of soaps. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I appreciate y'all support. Use my uh, KYM Designs razor here. Very shiny razor. Once again, from uh, KYM Designs all the way from uh, United Kingdom, if I didn't mention that. <laughs> and uh, use my Tanchirian Badger Knot. Uh, I believe it's a 26 millimeter, but it could be a 28. I don't remember, but very beautiful pour there from my man, Ryan Tanzi with his coin there. Check them out. Put in the description down below and the soap once again and the after splash. Take care y'all. Noble Otters fragrances just dropped not too long ago. They're all sold out right now. So this scent is available on leading to EDT once uh, Cody restocks. I was busy during the day and I didn't have a chance to uh, go on his website and buy the uh, the scents that I love from the water, which are uh, firefighters. Also, one it's like a like a woody aquatic scent, in my opinion. It smells cologne, and then uh, can't forget uh, Orbit. Orbit's my favorite from the water. That cologne too, as well, was available, but it seemed like everybody jumped the wagon and got all the colognes and they're all sold out so but cody will make more and he will restock so don't worry about that chingon signing out hope you all have a great sunday night and a great uh, blessed weekend ahead and uh junior's there watching with his tablet he says bye i say bye take care <laughs> thank you for joining me and i appreciate every single one of y'all joining watching Daddy. me supporting me Daddy. peace out my love Here goes the brush here. Just wanted to show y'all the uh, density of the knot itself. It's very, very dense. Right, Tansy. Joined by Tans. Look at that knot there. I just washed it. Beautiful bloom on the tenturian. Once again, very pillowy. Very dense knot, as you can see. Very beautiful blue on it. Just wanted to share with you.